KFGO.com Spring Train Report is brought to you by Stop and Go. Mike McFeely for KFGO Radio here in Fort Myers, Florida, Twins Spring Training 2014, talking to Twins pitching coach Rick Anderson. And, and Andy, I, I sense from being around here for the last few days that there's just a different feeling about the rotation this year, maybe going into Spring Training 2014 with Nolasco and Hughes at the top of the rotation. Now, do you, is that accurate or, or what are your thoughts? Yeah, we're, we're, we're real happy with that and, and uh, getting two pitchers with the quality of arms and stuff and history of these two is, is real nice to lead your staff and uh, the veterans and then you know we got some kids coming up and 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 uh, uh, who who's better to teach these kids that than than your some of the veterans that we got and and uh, so we're we're real excited and uh, like I said we got this is probably the best set of arms we've had in a while and uh, you know we have 29 pitchers in camp and and uh, it's every day is fun I mean you get the chance to watch these kids throw and and what we got coming and what we got here, and uh, we're all pretty excited about it. When it comes to Nolasco and Hughes, are these guys, what should Twins fans expect? Are these guys the, the horses, the, the number one guys, or is it a matter of innings? You know, what, what's the thought going into the season? Well, they have a history of getting you innings. You know, Nolasco, I think every year out, knock on wood, he's a 200-inning guy. So that means he's getting deep every every game he pitches, and, and Hughes has proven that in, with the Yankees. And, you know, you feel, uh, you know, uh, Pelfrey and, and you know and when he was healthy last year he's coming back from from the uh, arm but he was a 200 inning guy when he was with the Mets and, and, and Correa is you know get you up there so that's really neat to see these guys you know last year as you know we we struggled a little bit getting us a little deeper in the games and we beat up that bullpen pretty good but if we could get guys that get you deeper in the games your six seven innings uh, night in and night out that bullpen is going to be fresh and, and uh, we won't have to overwork them. Have you seen Hughes throw much? I'm sure you have as the pitching coach. What do you see out of Phil Hughes? Because he's a guy that a couple of years ago was really good in New York, and then things kind of didn't turn out so well in New York as they often don't in, in New York City. But what, what, what have you seen from him? I love him. Great makeup, uh, great kid. I think he's excited to, to get out of New York a little bit and, and get here. But, you know, I talked to him about what happened last year, and, and uh, it wasn't so good. But he says, I just started slow and started hearing things and, and started pressing and started changing and trying to do this. And and try to do that and which normal as a pitcher does if, if you scuffle a little bit uh, you want to change what's wrong and start tweaking things and next thing you know your head spinning where am I at so uh, I think a, just a new start a uh, new season and, and uh, uh, it should be fun having him around is it true that probably the first four spots in the rotation are taken if you look at uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I, that's you okay. Know, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't so much the wink; it was the smooching of the lips. There, that was the. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> if you look at, uh, if you look at Nolasco, Hughes, Pelfrey, and Correa, are those the first four guys? Is that pretty much set in stone? And then are you looking for that fifth starter out of spring? Yeah, if they all stay healthy, and, and uh, basically that's it. And, and we got. Uh, Boy, we got, which is a nice thing, we probably got four or five guys shooting for for a spot in the rotation, which, you know, uh, last couple of years we had four or five guys shooting for four or five spots. I mean, we were a little bit thinner, but this year with when you got that shooting for the last spot, that's a good thing, and, and competition's a good thing, and uh, it should be real entertaining spring training. The question of the day then, and you don't know the answer, but I'll ask it anyway, is who's going to take that fifth spot? Who are the guys that you're seeing very early in spring here who are, we're making a run at that. Well, we got uh, Worley. We, you know, we got Scotty Diamond, who's been there, and we've seen that, seen him a little bit. Kyle Gibson, Sammy Deduno, who did a wonderful job for us last year, and you know, we got some babies coming. You know, Trevor May and, and uh, Alex Meyer, and I mean, we got a lot of them going to run out there. And, and uh, you know, when you're competing for a spot like that, it's not just watching stuff; it's how they handle themselves, how they handle a little bit of competition and a little bit of pressure. So you see a lot about a pitcher there. So. Uh, we'll try to get them as many innings as possible and let them fight it out, and and the best man wins. On the offensive side, fans are very excited about Byron Bucks and Miguel Sano coming up, but the name we keep hearing uh, over and over is Alex Myers, that guy that everybody should wait for and just wait till he gets up here and wait till you see what he's got. I, is he close to being a major league pitcher right now, and could he end up with the team coming out of spring, or is that maybe uh, something down the road a little bit for Alex? Well, I would think uh, it wouldn't hurt him at all to go back a little bit. But again, who knows what's going to happen. But, you know, last year he missed that time with a shoulder down in double-A. And, and any time you miss time in the, in the minor leagues like that, you're 
missing development. So, but he ended up going to fall league and did really, really well in the fall league and showed improvement. And he's coming. He's a, he's a riser and, and, and uh, you know, he, he, he works hard. He's got a good look to him and, and, and uh, day in and day out. And, and uh, I'm really excited about this one. I mean, this kid has a chance to be very special. And he has a chance to be the top of the rotation type guy. Uh, but we just give him his time and, and make sure he's good and ready when he gets here. Last question. Bullpen last year was pretty good considering that it got overtaxed, as you mentioned earlier. Uh, I guess the basic logical deduction would be that if you get better starting pitch and your bullpen might even be better because they'll have more rest and guys like Swarzak and others won't get worn down. Is that what you're hoping for? Is that what you're looking at? Absolutely. And, and that, to me, is you probably ask Guardy the same thing we just frustrated is that you know the bullpen really battled their tails off all last year and they were really they did a real nice job for us but as you saw late in the season end of August and into September they were out of gas because we had to use them every night so hopefully with the addition of Hughes and Alaska and have a Pelfrey a year off of the two years off of surgery now and and Correa that uh, we could get deeper in the game and give these guys a breather and, and have them healthy and sharp and strong through uh, August and September. Andy, thank you. Absolutely, anytime.